we are back with more hippo action and let's go ahead and jump in to playing some three minute games and since we are 600 we're starting fresh with a student account and I prefer student accounts because people can't talk to you they have the nice smiley face in the corner and it's gotten to the point it is my preferred method of play on Lee Chess and Chess.com, Chess24. I don't want to communicate at all because for every one person, it's like, oh, I've got your chessable book. Big fan. For one of those, I get probably 49 just nasty, aggressive comments as... The first game is botched, so let's see if we can't get, and we'll go B6, a rating to a certain level. And we got we got a, a, a queen, queenman over here. All right. So I think our opponent is really into playing bullet and then forgot this is not a bullet game. So we will take the stuff and go from there. All right. And there's really no need to be too clinical when your opponent is helping you like this. So let's see if I can get there. Looks like I can. All right, not too much to look at in that one as our opponent did a lot of very quick queen moves with unnecessary sacrifice. So looks like the, the rating system is working pretty well in Lee Chess. And keep in mind, absolutely no disrespect to our opponents during this speed run. Um, so. Yeah, that's that. It is mainly to emphasize certain ideas, and when your opponent is offering free stuff, take it. That's the main lesson from that quick game. So we'll see if we can't make it to probably a thousand in this video, if we can go at a decent, decent pace. And I kind of like the bishop on b4. So I'm not in a hurry to play a3. We'll just let it sit. I think the better score for the bishops on d6. All right, we'll castle. Keep a knight out of there. When I've got time, I'm going to take it in the hippo. Hippo is slow and dangerous. All right, that removes the defender of the e-pawn. So... I will take the free stuff. And if it was my move again, I would take on f6, ruining the kingside pawn structure. So it's advisable to move the knight probably to g6. Good move. g4 would be inaccurate because he would get that square. So now I'm going to play a3 to see if we can't trade down a little bit. Bishop d6, I'm going to capture. And when we're up material, we can trade down. And with the queen on d6, pawn takes is met by knight takes, hitting the knight and queen. So he will more than likely play knight takes, and I will recapture with the pawn. Here, f4 does come to mind to be able to play e5, but queen c5 check in between could be a bit annoying at some point. So I'm gonna go king h2 first, just cover my kingside pawns, and then think about going f4 in the near future. f4 is hyper encouraged now as the center is locked. Got him. Bishop takes, make sure to take the queen. Ooh, 
the spike capture. So next, and we will start analyzing shortly. That was a much higher quality game than the first. And how are we doing on time? All right, we're at the five minute marker. Let's try to keep these videos about 10 minutes a pop. So a few games. When in doubt, hippo it out. Come on, dark hand. Where's your move? I give you five seconds and then, oh, there we go. Mm-hmm. The hippo. Lots of thought. Typically that means they're newer to chess if the rating goes along with the thought. It makes me nervous if my opponent was like 22 or 2300 and they're going into deep thought 30 seconds at move five. That uh, That's far more indicative of let me go get my engine, but I worry about it far less in the lower rating categories. All right, let's get our pieces developed, shall we? Flexible. Flexible and fast. All right. I'm just going to go E4 straight away here to get a taste of the D5. Okay. Keep the knight out of the way. And we got opposite side castling, but much like a lot of King's Indian positions, you can still get away with it over here. And I'm going to go C3. And it's mostly to set up potential B4 later, but if he captures my knight, I have developed the queen to a, a very reasonable square, connected the rooks, and finished development. So C3 is a good kicker move to try to get time out of him one way or another. Otherwise, it looks like he's going to be going back. And here... I think he forgot to capture on e2 first. And the position falls apart for black. We have completed development. We've got extra material. And when you're up material, you're looking to trade down and simplify the win. So I'm considering both captures here. If c takes d, rook c1, picking up time followed by knight c4, looking to harass the queen. And if e takes, I am strongly considering f4 with a follow-up idea of f5, gaining space, kicking the bishop to a square that is less optimal, and looking for my knight to hop into c4 to bother the queen. And keep in mind, this is very much a beginner series, so that's the rationale for starting off lower in rating to try to hit middle game ideas as well as we're going through playing the hippo. And we are definitely going to capture the piece. And what is the most accurate way to continue here? We're watching out for knight e3. And I feel like Ah, but that's a problem. Knight takes c4. The bishop will hang. We'll just go knight c4 and put the question to the queen immediately. That's completely fine here. We take with check, though. That was missed by the opponent. Yeah. And that'll do it for that one. Okay. And I said we were going to try to keep it around the 10-minute the marker. And looks like I lied a little bit. But we will be breaking 900 in the first video. 
Let's get our double fin keto action going. Much like in the introduction. Okay. Throw it there. Bishop g5, 97. Queen d2, h6. Don't want it to allow bishop h6 for the easy trade. Keep tension. Tension is how we get the most of it. a4. I don't want to allow a5 under favorable circumstances, so I'm going to play a6. If a5, I go b5 and gain space. So important motif there to note. And here we finish the, the hippo development, the standard hippo, if you will. We could have h6. Could be a bonus. Now well, they went for the center. We lock it, and we know the plan now. F5. And you could definitely slow play here. H6, king F8, king G8, king H7. But our opponent is allowing us straight away to castle since queen D2 wasn't played. And... Don't be in too much of a hurry to play f5, as knight g5 followed by knight e6 is quite annoying. So I do like the ability to play h6 here uh, to stop that. Queen d3, definitely not the best move. Queen d2, and he would slow up my progress quite a bit. Now I'm starting to get everything that I want in the position, and f5 is coming strongly. As pawn takes, you want to maintain the tension, take with the pawn. This allows one for the idea of forking and two later to use the open G file for attacking purposes. Often players have the impulse to capture with a piece, but normally it's better to have the options with the pawns as we see white's position now falling apart. <clears throat> and that did it. Felt good about the highlight of the ideas there because we were able to get our standard hippo against one of the most common ways to face it. A4 met by A6. If A5, we have B5. Very important motif to keep in mind. And here it's probably more accurate for me to play H6. So if queen D2, we can meet it with G5. Same sort of principle. Now we can castle and look for F5, much like we got in the game. Um, h6, again, if f5 immediately, turn on the engine to show it's problematic after knight g5, because knight e6 is a threat, but h6 just kills that idea, and after f5, uh, white is hard-pressed here, e4 with the piece fork, and devastation. So... That'll do it for this video as we are going to climb the rating ladder using only the hippo and hopefully it will give you some middle game ideas in the process.